Hey, what up? This is Eddie04, and today we're going to work right into the chase. We're going to dive into uh, configuring our Xbox 360 emulator version 4. Now, this is a brand new version that came out recently, about November 2020. Wow, 2020, I know. So, November 2020, they released a brand new version, which is 4.0, and this one works different from the usual Xbox 360 emulator. Now, the usual uh, emulator, you had a 32-bit and a 64-bit version, and you had to take that emulator and put it actually into the game folder. Now, this new version actually doesn't require you to do that. You can actually save that uh, Xbox 360 CE.exe file wherever you want to, and then just run it from there. Uh, there's a couple of caveats compared to the older version. So one of the things is that you load this game, and you want to make sure that you don't add it into the game folder. The other detail here is that you also want to make sure that this game is running while you have your game. So you do not close the Xbox Simulator compared to the other versions, which personally for me, I feel like it's a downgrade. Now you don't have either 32 or 64 bit versions, there's only one version which will handle both, which means that this software must be running on 32 bit actually. And besides that, uh, they claim that it reduces the CPU usage because the, uh, the emulator is actually running in the background without even closing it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try and run that, install it. As you know, I always do this test. Uh, my Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 is the game that we use for every single test because one is the game that I like and two, it's really easy to test it out, right? Now, right now, as you know, I usually start these videos with my game controller not working for Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. And I'm gonna just go ahead and load the game as usual. Quickly try to run it, you'll notice that it doesn't work just to prove that uh, these emulators or these files or the instructions or tutorials that I'm teaching you actually work, right? So as you know, our test, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work, I'm pressing any buttons here. So we're gonna exit out of it. And uh, right off the bat, something that I noticed, I got here my uh, file in the download folder so I'm just gonna go ahead and run it now another thing that I didn't like again this is not a video about what I like and I don't like about the emulator I'm just teaching you how to use it uh, this new version actually requires you to install um, a Microsoft Visual C++ um, package so that's another thing that you have to have in mind that you will need to add this into your installation process as well Yeah, this might take a while, so I would recommend also rebooting it. All right, so we are back, and we're gonna go ahead and try and run this one more time. So as you can see, things look a little bit different here. Enable map devices, buttons are slightly different, um, and I do have my game controller connected, but it's not loading. So we're gonna go to here, to the First one, I'm gonna click on add. And now as you can see, it detects things that are connected or devices that are connected. As I mentioned before, this one is slightly different. The other one would preload whatever he finds in the game folder and he will get all the details from the game controller. Uh, but in this one here, you have to add your device that you wanna use. In this case, you can uncheck whichever one and just make sure that you wanna add the selected device, right? So, we're gonna go ahead and click on add. So there we go, so now it's added. Now as you can see, nothing is configured at this point. Now we need to load the configuration for this game controller. So in this case, you can see here, remap all. You can just go ahead and click on that button. And we're gonna start mapping every single button according to the guidance. So that is the left trigger, the right trigger, the left bumper, the right bumper, select, start. D. Right. Press. Up. Right. Press. Y. Now 
from here, you just go ahead and click on save all. And that's about it. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize. I'm gonna load the game. Now remember, this is slightly different from what we had configured before with the version 3.0 or 3.2, I think it was the last version they released, where you could actually close the emulator. In this case, I left the emulator open. It is supposed to be for better performance, less CPU usage. So now I'm pressing and I don't see any kind of changes here. Check this out. So we have another issue here, virtual device driver. So there was a thing here. We had an issue where we had to install the virtual driver. Now, apparently the virtual driver is installed. Now, if I minimize this and I load the game. Now it detects the game. Right, so the new version actually works. You don't need to put it into the game folder. You can save it wherever you want to. I just live in the download folder actually. Uh, I wanna make sure to download the requirement files, which I added in the description below, as well as the link is added into the description as well. Um, I added the links of the files that you also need to have installed for, which are required as well, just because it's kind of tricky. The Microsoft website actually uh, gives you a list a virtual C++ um, files to download and it doesn't really tell you which one you need to download. So I've added those into the description as well. Um, after that, just wait a couple of minutes, wait for it to add the virtual driver uh, to be installed and that should make the trick. So hope you like this video, go ahead and hit on that like button. And if you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a brand new video. This was Edio 4. See you on the next one. And in the meantime, go ahead and watch any of this video.